How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and I'm finishing off a set of three videos where we compared the top four brands of commercial grade outlets. So we started with Leviton versus Eaton. I had selected Eaton as I thought a better commercial grade outlet. Then we took that Eaton versus Legrand and I thought Legrand made it out. So now we're taking the Legrand and we're gonna go versus the Hubble. Now, Hubble is the most called out in my comment section on multiple different videos in, in terms of professionals and what is their favorite brand of outlet. Now, the one thing that is extremely important that I'm not gonna be able to test is the actual durability and longevity of an outlet. Obviously, I'm not gonna do any long-term endurance testing, so this is really just gonna go over the features, and many of those features are associated to installing the outlet, and also, like all the other videos, we're going to actually cut open the outlet and see what is inside of each of these brands. Now, if you wanna see some of those other videos or you need links to any of the tools or the specific outlets that we're using here, you can look down in the description and you'll see the links there for your reference. But let's jump into it and compare the features of the Legrand CRB5262 outlet versus the Hubble CR15. So we'll have the Legrand on the left-hand side and the Hubble on the right-hand side. Just some of the basics. So the Legrand is made in Mexico, while the Hubble is made in China. We'll do a quick weight, starting off with the Hubble at 70 grams, and the Legrand at 75. Not necessarily that weight, it means more durable, but the Legrand is five grams heavier. The face design is a little bit different. You have the contour design here of the Legrand, which actually helps, uh, especially a two-prong plug, find the slots easier, while you have the flat design here, which is arguably a little bit more modern, even though if you are going for a modern look, you're probably going with more of a decor outlet opposed to a duplex. They both have self-grounding straps on the bottom. Now, Legrand is the only one of the four brands that actually has it on top and bottom, and really is the only receptacle that I've seen with top and bottom. Now, the housings themselves, the way they're held together are a little different. You have a two rivet design where these pass through the yoke on the back with the head here and then actually secure into the top hole housing. So sandwiching uh, the bottom and top together along with the yoke. And then here on the Hubble, we have these white tabs on the four corners that hold the top and bottom housings together. Now, one of the biggest features, if you've seen any of my other videos, especially for DIYers, I really like the commercial grade outlets. I think they're worth the extra money, which we will cover costs a little bit later, but the Legrand has the feature for back wiring. So you can see all the isolation here where technically you have spots for four wires, both on the hot side and on the neutral side. While the Hubble does not have back wiring, that I think is a pretty big differentiator. Leviton had it, Eaton had it, Legrand had it, but Hubble does not. So they've taken a different stance there where you can only do side wiring, where you do your J hook or your sh shepherd hook in the clockwise direction, and then you would secure down your screw. All right, so those are the overall basic features and how they compare to each other. Now let's look internally to see what the contacts look like for both the Legrand and the Hubble. Now with the top housing removed, we can see all the internals for both the Legrand on the left-hand side and also the Hubble on the right-hand side. Now I didn't mention this initially, but the housing, the Legrand overall has a very compact design and that holds true when compared versus the Hubble. 
it is significantly smaller just in the overall packaging. And Legrand seems to really have put that as high importance in their overall design. Now the Legrand contact design is going to accommodate for both this 15 amp outlet, but also it's used for 20 amps. And you can just tell by the design where it could accommodate for a 20 amp top housing and the appropriate plug. The Hubble is purpose built. It is more similar to the internals as we saw on the Leviton initially in our comparison. Another feature that differentiates Legrand above all the other competitors, including Hubble, is a thicker gauge or thickness of brass used in all the contacts. Legrand uses a 22 gauge brass, which has the thickness of 0.65 millimeters, while Hubble Thickness is about 0.5 millimeters and corresponds to a 24 gauge brass. And this is the similar thickness that we saw in Eaton and Leviton. You can obviously see the internals needed for those plates uh, that support the back wire feature that you have on Legrand, but you do not have on Hubble. But one thing I will give to Hubble is the design is overall very simple. You have very few parts and maybe that does contribute to them getting the reputation of just being a quality product that holds up well over time. So now we'll jump back and talk about costs for these and also my overall opinion on which commercial grade outlet is best. When it comes to pricing, if we look at the Legrand CRB5262, I can get these at my local Menards for $199. And that's when I just buy them in a single pack. Now, if I buy 10 pack and kind of get that quantity discount, it gets into the $1.75 range. And that's not even including the 11% discount that Menards has been running on everything for about a year and a half now. Then when it comes to the Hubble CR15, the price was $2.98 per unit and I order them from Granger online. So let's talk about availability. When it comes to Hubble, you're not usually gonna find them at any home improvement stores, at least I don't. If you guys do in your area, let me know. Let me know who carries Hubble for you in your area. I also went to two of the electrical supply houses in my area that are the most common, and they did not have the 15 amp or 20 amp commercial grade Hubble, which I was a little surprised about. So availability could be a big challenge when it comes to Hubble on actually using them on your projects. Now the Legrand, I can get at Menards. I know Menards isn't available everywhere, but Menards carries a wide selection of Legrand Pass and Seymour products where I can get them pretty much at any time. And finally, which one did I pick? So this is the conclusion of looking at Leviton, Eaton, Legrand, and now Hubble, and really getting the outlet that I'm gonna go forth with on my future projects. And for me, I'm sticking with Legrand. I think for the price, the compact packaging, the thicker gauge contacts, and the back wire feature, along with availability, I think it's a winner. I think it has a lot of positive and beats out the competition. I wanted to really like the Hubble because of all the great comments I've been getting, but overall, I just don't think it tops the charts, at least for me. But I wanna know what you think. Who is your favorite? Have you seen the other videos that I put out there? Which one is your go-to? I know availability, at least in the DIY space, is a massive part of the selection process. You're gonna to go to some home improvement store, you're gonna get your other supplies, and then you're gonna grab what they have there. So that is what edges out Leviton in some people's minds. But for me, Legrand's readily available in my area. The price is right and all the other factors that I talked about. So that is the one I'm going for. I'm glad I did this series because I actually learned a ton looking at those and then hopefully you guys got something from it, even if you don't completely agree with me. Now, before you take off, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, don't forget to do so. We have multiple videos coming out per week to help you with repairs and improvements around your house and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.